you can screw up your friend's computer with just six lines of code and also grandma will talk about balls in this video so let's get started before getting started please please like this video and subscribe to this channel otherwise grandma will come to your house and loosen the screw of your head to get started the very first thing you will need is python installed in your computer and we will use a python code editor called pycharm and if you don't have it just google it and install in your computer and we will start a project and we will give it a name like screw you something like that because you want to screw your friend's computer once the pycharm is ready just press ctrl a and backspace to make it a clean slate and then we will click on this to make it the whole screen and all you need to do is to ask the google uncle what is rotate screen in python so you can just search for python rotate screen and you can do some crazy stuff by using this python package just click on the first link and click on this icon and come back to your pycharm and click on this terminal and inside this terminal just press ctrl b and then enter and it will take literally a two second to install this in your computer and once you have this uh, rotate skin install all you have to do is to import it in your project so i will type import rotate screen and then you just need to declare a variable and I will give it a name called screen. And the value of this screen is to call the rotate screen dot get primary display. That means you are asking rotate screen to give the primary display of this computer. And after that, you can do rotate screen to rotate a particular angle. And if you paid some attention while you are in high school, you might know that this is like a flat zero degree. And if you rotate it, it goes to 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree and all this stuff. So now you can ask the computer to rotate the screen by 90 degree. And if you try to do it, it will give you a small exception. But don't worry, we get this covered. And you'll see that it gives you an exception called no module named win32 API. And all you need to do is to copy this text and take it to the Google and then search something. That's it. Google uncle knows every single thing. And once you go there, you just open this link and you will see some answer here. And somebody will tell you to copy this dude, come back to your terminal and then control B and then press enter. And this will take few more seconds to install some Windows package to capture the monitor so that you can rotate it. Once this is done, uh, you can just click on this run button and your skin would be rotated 90 degree. Make sure you put the cursor here and then all you need to do is to click on this run button. And if you click on this run button, your monitor would be flipped by 90 degree and you need to get out of this. So all you have to do is a press backspace. So this degree will become zero degree and then you don't have to struggle to find this run button. Rather, you can press shift F10 on your keyboard. And if you do this, your monitor will be back into a normal state. This is not fun yet, but we are getting there. And to make it fun and hilarious and to screw your friend's computer, you have to rotate the skin for thousands of time. And it would be spinning like all this different direction in every second. And your friend would be mad at you and he has to restart his computer to get out of it. So that's how you would be able to screwing up his computer in few minutes. And also doing this, we will be talking about the thing that grandma called balls. So let's start about those balls if you think about that you have like 12 bananas and you have like three monkeys what you will do you will give each monkey four bananas four bananas four bananas and you will have all 12 bananas and to do it mathematically you can just write print and inside the print you have 12 bananas and you have like three monkeys and if you just run this code it will give you 4.0 that means like every monkey will get four bananas but if you have like not 
12 but you have like 14 bananas now you cannot give each monkey five bananas or you cannot give each monkey four bananas because you will have like two bananas and you cannot give this two banana to each monkey because monkey wants the whole banana and otherwise they will start fighting and they will pull up your hair and they would be scratch you all over your body so what you can do instead of the slash grandma uses slash with balls and this is the thing that grandma calls slash with balls and you can see that this slash has two balls right and if you use this slash with balls it will tell you that how many items would be remaining after you dividing the things among three monkeys and you can do it for any number say for example if you have number like uh say like a 370 and if you divide it by 360 what would be the remaining you will see the remaining would be 10. if you have a number like say for example 400 and you divide by 360 what would be the remaining this slash with balls will tell you that you will have 40 remaining and same thing you can do like if you have 450 you can know that if you do this division the remaining number would be 90 and this slash with balls would be very very helpful to screw your friend's computer and we will see it in a minute let's forget about grandma's balls for now and look into some other thing in python and that other thing is called a for loop and you can write for loop in many different ways and in our case we will run it just for a range of numbers so we can type like for i in a range of numbers and we can say this range of numbers is starting from zero and it will go until 10 12 or whatever the number we want to give it so here we just put like 10 and we can see the value of i but just printing i inside it and if you click on this play icon it will tell you that it starts from the zero and then it will go before the number you mentioned so you mentioned 10 so you will get until 9 that's good but if you remember previously then when we are rotating the screen the screen only goes either 0 degree or 90 degree or 180 degree or 270 degree that means it's always 180 90 this is multiplication of 90 and you can simply do that i multiplied by 90 and this will give you like 90 degree 180 degree 270 degree 360 and even higher degree but there is a small problem here and that is small problem is skin angle could only be either 0 90 180 or 270 and again zero that means it cannot be beyond 360 so in that case your grandma's slash with balls would be very very helpful all you need to do is write this percentage or modulus and then 360 and if you do this you will see that now your numbers are all 0 90 180 270 and again 0 90 because it's dividing and only giving you the reminder and that's how grandma has some contribution on this video and by using this you can do some fun instead of printing you can say like i don't want to print rather i will tell the screen to rotate to this particular degree and this would be like a spinning boom 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 very quickly and if you want to be little bit generous to your friend all you can do is to import time and and give him a second before this rotation happens so you can before doing this you can say like time uh, i already imported the time and the time dot sleep and you want to sleep just for one second that's it this is like a six seven lines of code or you can just get rid of this line this is six lines of code and by running this code your skin would be rotating in every angle in every second so let's have some fun and look into it and make sure you have some uh, cursor or the put number into a like a some interesting number like 13 after that it will be rotated rotated and come to the initial condition so let's put 13 here and then run it and let's see how does it goes with this screen of your friend's computer now click on this run button and you will see the fun that the screen is rotating crazily in every second and it's taking every direction and it's harder for anybody to find even he or she knows that what the stop button it they would not be able to click on it and it would be keep going like crazy and right now we only have the number until 13 what if this number is like 1000 or what if this number is like 10,000 now how will you stop it your friend if he doesn't know the pi charm he has to restart his computer but if your friend is doing this to you 
all you have to do is to know how to stop this when this is running so if you run this and your computer is rotating like this crazy all you have to do is to press ctrl f2 and in that way this execution would be stopped otherwise it would be going forever like 10000 times then you will kind of like get 80 years old and you might be die by that time so press control f2 and then it would be stopped but if it is in the wrong direction you can just run a shift f10 to keep it running for few more times and when it's come to the right direction at that time you press control f2 to stop it in the right location so this is the way you can screw up your friend's computer with just six lines of code. And if you learned something or have fun from this video, please, please like this video, subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn Python in a fun way, please, please check out this awesome app called Programming Hero. And you can check it either in the Play Store or the App Store. And also share this with your grandma. And this is the way your grandma and I will see you in the next video.